Welcome back to Making Artistic Recipes Kitchen Style. Uh, today we have a great dish that we're going to be doing for you guys. It is deep fried salmon croquettes. You're going to love it. Come on and join us. Okay guys, let's get started. The first thing we're going to do, you're going to take and pour the juice off your salmon into your bowl. And we're using uh, the Pink Beauty Salmon. Let's pour your juice into your bowl. And what this is going to do, this is going to add additional flavor to it. And, uh, today we're working with two cans. After you pour your juice into your bowl, you want to go ahead and pour your salmon out. And what I like to do is, I like to hold it facing me. And if you look, there's a bone right there. You wanna follow that trail. So just simply pull your salmon open like so. And there's your bone right there. You wanna take those bones out. And what I normally do is just discard them inside the can. And just pull them out just like that all at once. And sometimes there'll be more than one, so you want to kind of search and make sure there's no additional bones in the salmon, and you should be fine. Okay, that one only had one. Okay, let's go ahead and grab our other can, and we're gonna do the same thing. Repeat, repeat the process. Okay, hold it facing you. There's our bone there on the top. I'm gonna. Peel it back just a little bit. And see, that's what I mean, guys. See, there's a bone there, but we also have some there as well. So you gotta really watch that. Uh, although you're frying them, they will sometimes um, be hard and you don't wanna bite into one of those hard bones. You'll probably break your teeth or it's just not tasteful. Okay, so we're gonna break it up a little bit. All right, so no more bones in there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and change gloves and we're gonna add our ingredients. And the first ingredients that we're gonna add, what I like to do is go ahead and add all of my dry ingredients. And today we're gonna be using some onion powder. I'm gonna sprinkle that on. That's about a teaspoon of onion powder. We're also gonna use a teaspoon of garlic powder. And about a quarter teaspoon of lemon pepper. Two cloves of fresh garlic. Or you can use minced garlic if you don't have fresh garlic on hand. Green onions, and this is about Three stalks, roughly. Add some fresh third, I'm sorry, slice of an onion. I use a large onion, and that's about how much I use off of that large, large onion. We want to also add in um, our flour, and we're going to start. And this seems like a, a little bit more. But well, this is about a cup full, and the reason we're using a cup because you gotta remember we added liquid from our salmon, and this flour is gonna soak up the juice. What I like to do is add a little bit, and then we mix with our hands. And then we'll add a little bit more. As you can see, it's still a little wet. We add a little bit more. And that should do it. And if you notice, um, I didn't add any salt. Add a little black pepper. And you can do it to uh, your liking. Okay, we're gonna stir all of our ingredients in. And what I like to do is kind of press as I'm stirring 
And what that does is breaks down the salmon and it allows it be, to be a little thinner opposed to being big chunks. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and add our two eggs in. Okay guys, let's get started. Uh, the first thing we want to do is take a spoon. Um, I have a wide mouth spoon here, just a regular uh, teaspoon. And you want to dip it in your oil and shake it off. And after you do that, you want to go ahead and take your, your salmon. And you want to scoop some out like so. Just the same, you know, size of the spoon, just that size helping. Once you do that, kind of press it in your spoon like so. And you want to just drop it in like that. And if you notice, I didn't have as much salmon stuck on my spoon. Press. Perfectly crispy on the outside, they look delicious, and they're gonna be very tasty. Okay, guys, we're gonna check it out. Let's see, look at that. Perfectly cooked. That's what you want. See the crispiness on the outside, outside layer there. You have all your onions and everything else on the inside. That's what you're looking for. Hey guys, that was great. I enjoyed you. Look how it turned out. They're delicious. Can't wait to try them. Hey, till next time, we'll see you. We out.